we see green here at Pocono. Look at Wickens on the outside making a move. Here comes the red machine, the Lucas Oil entry. Outside, 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 still there. Ugh. That was ugly. Robbie, are you okay? We breathe a collective sigh to hear that Robert Wickens was awake and alert while being transported to Lehigh Valley Hospitals. What was it like when the reality set in and you were, you know, awake enough to realize really your, your situation? They told my family um, to not expect any movement, any sensations, anything for the first six months of the injury. Hey, everybody. Once I came to my senses, and started investigating this injury on what a recovery looks like, I really had a hard time finding it. And I just had no idea what the recovery looked like. And when I entered rehab, I was convinced that rehab was just to get me walking and get me back home. I had no idea that like walking is like months, months, months down the road and you have to learn how to take care of yourself again. What has kind of the journey been like with the, the highs and and loves the stuff that not everyone gets to see. I got my first muscle flicker at, I think, five weeks after the accident. And like, that was like the happiest day of our lives. You know, Carly and I were both crying and like, it was like a little like muscle twitch and like that was it, you know? And, uh, and then from there, it just went further and further. Everyone is being so supportive and, and so positive, and I'm also only posting the positive. So like, sometimes I'm just like, oh man, am I giving them like a false indication on actually how my recovery is going? You've shown your progress throughout these last six months. Why has it been important to you to share that? You know, it's, it's such an emotional roller coaster. Physically, it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but mentally and emotionally, it's hands down, non-comparison. It's like tenfold the hardest thing I've ever done because just to try find positives every day when those days where you're just so angry with what happened, it's, it's really hard to do. Well, obviously one of those, you know, the most positive influence is in your life is of course your fiance, Carly. And at that six month mark, you surprised her by standing up, you know, under your own weight and kind of almost dancing with her a little bit. What was that moment like for the two of you? One of my main goals is I need to be on my feet at my wedding. And that's really honestly almost what's driving me more than, than getting back to IndyCar. And it's not that far away, you know, I'm getting married in September and, uh, you know, I think what I've been doing the last couple of days has really made me think that that's, that's going to be a reality. I want to be the best spinal cord recovery in the history of spinal cord recovery. I want to be the fastest. I want to walk the most natural. I want to recover and get back to life the best that anyone has ever done. You know, long term, you've talked about the goal of, of getting back in an Indy car. How often do you think about what it'd be like to, to climb back aboard one of those? Every day. Yeah. Every single day I think about what it's gonna be like and you know, that's it's it's all I know how to do. It's what I've I told my parents when I was ten years old that I wanted to be a race car driver. And at the time my parents kind of like humored me a little bit and then they you know, it's like me telling my parents I, I wanna be an astronaut and I wanna be the first person on Mars, you know, it's like, yeah, okay. It's like, it's this unachievable thing. But then, you know, worked hard, did a lot of sacrifice and, 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 and there I was. And I'm too young to just give that up. And I don't, I don't care what I have to do. I don't care how hard I have to work. I'm going to come back. Mm -hmm.